So what we're gonna to use today to print some foil is a 156 mesh screen. We're gonna need a flash dryer, a 70 durometer squeegee, and then we have the Wilflex HD adhesive and some R-foil. So for this print, we went with a uh, silver foil just to kind of show you how it's gonna pop off the black. So I've got plenty of the Wilflex adhesive in here to make sure I'm getting a good deposit as I pull it. So you want to make sure that you have a good enough amount of this adhesive laid down for the foil to actually grab onto. If you don't get a good deposit, you won't have much for the foil to actually grab onto. And if you have too much, you'll actually run into an issue where when you heat press it, it marshmallows out and you'll lose you know, the integrity of your design in any detail. Looks pretty good. So let's run it through the dryer. So now that we ran this to the dryer, or you could cure it with your flash if you don't have a dryer, we're gonna bring it over to the heat press. Now that we have the shirt ready to go on the heat press, we're gonna lay the foil with the colored side up. The settings that I'm using for this, uh, I have it at 360 degrees, and it's, it's recommended to use in between 350 and 375. We were gonna have it in here for 15 seconds. And as far as your pressure setting goes, I have it on a five out of 10. So hopefully that gives you an idea on how to set yours up. Let's put it in. Nice, so it's under there for 15 seconds. Uh, before we do anything, we actually wanna make sure that it cools down. So this is a cold peel foil, so we'll give it you know, 15 seconds or so. And what you can already see is where the adhesive has started to work and really grab onto it. You see the, the imprint of it. So something that someone taught me once is to cool it down and make sure that it's grabbing it really well. You can take a shirt and just lightly go over it. The shirt is actually gonna help basically carry away a lot of the heat, which is kind of cool. Right on. So a big thing that I used to make a mistake on when starting to do foil is not pulling it quickly enough. So what you wanna do is get a really good grip on it because it's slick, and then you wanna rip this off like a Band-Aid. So let's, let's give it a try. Right, so let's check it out. This one came out pretty good. Um, one reason I wanted to use the silver and the black is the high contrast, so we could see any imperfections. And with foil, I mean, you're gonna have imperfections, that's why you wanna practice. And the foil that you're using does matter. So just like anything, you know, if you use a cheap foil, it might not work as well as something you find that's higher quality. Um, luckily, we don't have too much going on here. It looks pretty good. So what I was saying earlier, the, a big part of why you wanna control your print and the, the ink deposit is if you do too much, when you actually go to press it, you would see this kind of turn to a marshmallow and just out. Uh, if you have too little, like I said before, it's not gonna grab. And you can kind of see that in this corner where it didn't quite hold as, as well as I would have liked it to. Another trick that you can use is printing a similar colored ink underneath, right? So that way, if it does you know, not hold in a spot, it's gonna blend in a little bit better. So red ink under a red foil, uh, liquid silver under the silver. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of ways to do it, so. Well, I hope we've given you some useful tips to uh, have some fun with foil. Definitely test it out. Um, you're gonna have some imperfections, but don't be discouraged by your first few prints. If there's anything that we didn't show that's worked really well for you, please let us know in the comments. Hey, like this video, subscribe, and follow us on social. Like, subscribe, so give this video a like. Hit subscribe and follow us on social. Have fun, guys. You want me to hit it like that? Yes.